Hey, my trendies, trendsetters, and my trendy tribe. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Let me know if you can hear me. It's a great Thursday. Okay, I see my circle vibrating. That's good. And I'm stopping at Mama B's. Wait, no, not Mama B's. Hold on. Thank you, Sound Check Annette. I'm stopping at Rashida Watson Womack. Womack. That's what I'm stopping at. So y'all remind me. If I'm doing my greetings, I'll put a timestamp to skip the greetings for my replay gang gang. Here we go. Hey, Veronica Monroe, first in the building. Honey Green, Professor Purple Queen, Sweet Rose is here. Danny, the PR queen, is in the building, part of the Mod Squad. Cynthia Arrington, and Green, Sound Check Annette, always got me. Um, Hey, VG. Hey, CC. April, I see you. Let me see. Oh, and sound checking it. Yes, Danny has such a beautiful spirit and calm voice. I agree. <laughs> hey, Yumina. Bama Girl is here with the lips. Yes, Bama Girl. I appreciate you. Hey, Lady C. Sandra Sanderson. Um, as we get closer to Melocon, let me just remind y'all that Sandra Sanderson came up with the term Melocon. Okay. <laughs> hey, Miss Tina. Hey, Mama V. Terry T, baby. Um, let me see. Hey, Mama Bees, Sonia Guidry, uh, Mama Capricorn, Sharice Christian. Hey, um, hey, my middle sis journey to Jasmine. We got our show tonight, Jazz, uh, with Here for Hot Tea, myself, and Journey to Jasmine. It is called A Journey to Trending Hot Tea. So please tune in tonight, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's already active. You just got to set set the vid the live to notify yourself. So don't even miss out because you can go ahead and set the notification now specifically for that live. Um, hey, it's Tay T, Patricia Dyer. Oh, what's my, oh, let me put my banner up. It's just my name. It's the dollar sign with trending at some point. But thank you for asking because you already know y'all sponsored something. <laughs> thank you, Cece. Okay, let me see here. Oh. Did I say, okay, I did say hey to It's Tay T. Hey, Ray Mel, Miss Cutie Pie, Chronicles of Kim K, Miss Lady One, Never Fails with the Virgo Lips, Rashida Watson Womack. I said she'd be my last one. That way, I, you know, we tight hour in here. So, all right. Shout out to y'all that are here and my bourgeoisie that's in the bushes. I love it. I love it. Um, Real fast. Did I keep it up? Oh, I did. Look at me. Okay, let me share my screen real fast. Y'all, April is Autism Awareness Month. And shout out to Uppity Unicorn, my cerebral sis, who's also a content creator and part of the Mod Squad. Let's be clear, my big sis, Peaches and Cream, and many, many other 
um, warriors for autism awareness and some that actually are diagnosed with autism. April is Autism Awareness Month. I do have Autism Awareness Art. If you would like to, uh, if you would like to go check out my store, it's trending at some point .com. And if you want to go straight to the awareness one, it's in the catalog. And you just go to the awareness collection, and then you can just you can also just search the word autism up here too to just get straight to it. Um, but I have hoodies. I got it. Okay. Oh, I do have. Okay. Well, for adults, I have autistic adult, please be patient t-shirts. The other ones for autism awareness with the lips like this one, I only have hoodies right now. Time is not on my side, but I'm trying to do t-shirts, but um, I'll try to have the t-shirts out soon. But there's the autism awareness theme lips with the puzzle pieces. And then uh, from Uppity, definitely the inspiration of autistic adult, please be patient. So um, if you would like to support my art and my store, it is Autism Awareness Month, and I have a lot of awareness collections, and it will be building. I have a few uh, commissions to finish and everything. Okay, okay. So thank you very much for um, for listening to me. Let me see here. Okay, so what else do we have? Oh, we are so close. Shout out to uh, my sweet sis, 41 Fit. I'm this close to 8K. Okay, hey, Chef Don Don. How are you? Chef Don Don is also a content creator. Um. We're this close to 8K. We have a J. Taylor candle giveaway as part of the grand prize. Um, what else? Uh, it'll also be cash out prizes. And I've done this on all my little milestones that I like to celebrate. Even when I hit my first 100 orders from my store, those things, I like to celebrate my milestones. When I hit a million views on my channel, we celebrate. So cash apps. Uh, I want to do 7th Avenue gifts, but I don't think there's a 7th Avenue electronic gift card anymore because logistically, I don't want to order it to come here just to then, oh, you know what? No, because see, I don't want y'all giving me y'all address and stuff. <laughs> I was gonna say you could just give me your address and tell, and I'll just no, I'll just I might just have to cash up you. You're gonna have to use your integrity to get it for Seventh Avenue, because <laughs> I don't know about that one. I gotta I gotta stop acting like I I can just keep up with everything. But either way, Seventh Avenue grand prizes, cash apps, and all the things are part of our um, giveaways when we celebrate milestones. Okay, next up, <sighs> let's start. Okay, this will be real quick on Carlos King. I had my time to vent on Instagram. Um, I'll, You know what? I'll play it so y'all can see. I vented, and then he can stay where he at for now because I uh, I know. I know he's rage farming, y'all. I know he is. And rage farming, in fact, I was going to look up the definition for y'all because I want to tell you that's what I think Wander does. I feel like all of them do. And that I, I do ignore most of it. And every now and again, they still get me, and I have to just say something so I can't help myself all the time, but I know what they're doing. Okay. Cause to them, a win is a win, a view is a view. And I get that. And therefore also, I never try to tell somebody else what they should or shouldn't talk about because I don't want nobody telling me what I should or shouldn't talk about. So, but let me show you this definition of rage farming. And this is what Carlos King does. Um, all of them. Stormy does this. Uh, Wander does this. All of them do this. Maurice, all of them do this. Um, Marceau, he he loves it. Marceau, I think he really lives off of it. But um, rage farming is an influential manipulation tactic that seeks to elicit outrage from viewers. Its purpose is to increase traffic and engagement, which ultimately translates into profit for the producer, as well as raises uh, raise funds for political agendas and place targets in defense mode to disrupt their activities. So, uh, yeah, I know that's what they're doing. Therefore, I don't I don't partake all the time. But I had a I had my angry my anger translator activated on this one, so I can't help it. But I do know what's going on, and I'm gonna call it out. It has a name, and that's the name for it. Again, uh, please don't tell anybody else what they should or shouldn't talk about. But I just want them to know we we see what they're doing. <laughs> we see you because you it's it's that and you're stupid. I'm sorry, those are two things. Not y'all, but them being stupid for the things that come out their mouth. Okay, so let me go to my um. This was my, well, I had two things. One of them might've expo expired, but I put it in my stories for one. And then this is the other one, but I had to go back and bleep them. Okay. This is my, <laughs> this is mine. So I put Carlos King says Juan Dixon is the worst man on reality TV. And if y'all can't see what he's holding up, the guy's going to be holding up a, a thing of Martel's uh, mugshot. So that's what he's holding up when he's like, what's this? All right, here you go.
What's this, you What's this? Huh? What's this, mother What's this? Huh? What's this? What the is this, mother Huh? What's this? So that's my, oh, let me turn my thing down. That's my response. I know he was just trying to make me mad and all of us mad. I know. I know. Because you can't be that dumb. Okay? You just can't be. Um. All right. So moving on, but calling out the clownery of, of it all. This one be real short, too. Uh. So, uh. And sh- and, okay, so first I heard about this from, was it Tea Talk with your girl? It was Tea Talk with your girl. Then I saw Chef Don Don. Um, and then I went to find it online, of course. And so this came out and I do have the follow-up to this, but I have, I have comments about this too. I see y'all laughing. <laughs> I see y'all. <laughs> yep. The evaporation. <laughs> yeah. Evaporated drops. Yes. <laughs> okay. So what did I see? Here it is. So this, let me, let me let y'all know I'm caught up. I, I'm I'm pretty caught up. So, oh, this isn't it yet. We're getting to Latasha in a second. That wasn't the one. There was something else about uh, Candy and Todd possibly getting a divorce. And Candy posted this today because it's their 10th year anniversary. She posted this 30, a little over 30 minutes ago. The only thing I have to say is, Candy, I don't wish divorce on people, okay? So I do hope that y'all are happy that it was a, a mistaken blind item on Candy and Todd, but what I hope is this is not a Tiana Taylor move, a, Mon- a Monique Samuels from Real Housewives of Potomac move, um, even Kiki Palmer when she was trying to appease Darius move. I hope that y'all are just actually happy and that was just an incorrect blind item about them possibly getting a divorce. Because if this, if you're, if they look so cute, um, because if this is to show us y'all are good, but y'all not good, just, it's okay. Like, Cause this just makes it crazier later, but you know, it's y'all's life, but that's, that's where I'm at. So this, I hope they're happy. Like I, I'd rather you have a happy life than not. So yeah, that's, that's where I am with it though. So we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. <laughs> um, thank you, Jasmine. I saw you said me and Danny have the best memes. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. So next up, let's get this down. Let's go to, I'm saving the Latasha Scott thing for the end if we have time to make sure I can actually cover what's on the thumbnail. So we're going to go to, oh, yes, the mayor. We got to go to the mayor. So we got to go to the courtroom real fast. Hold on. Mayor, city girl mayor, Tiffany Henyard. And she had, oh my gosh, this woman is a, is a, it's crazy. It's crazy. Let's go to the courtroom. We're reviewing one of the cases against her right now. We will review the rest of them as well. But right now we're reviewing uh, one of them for the tight hour. And I'm going to take this off. Share screen. One second, Mm -mm Oh my god. Okay. All right. Oh. There we go. <sighs> okay. So, s- this is Steffi, I'm going to say Weidman or I would say Weidman. Stephanie Weidman versus Tiffany Henyard, the mayor of Dalton, as an individual and in her official capacity as mayor of Dalton, Village of Dalton, Dalton police officer S Hobson. Uh, police detective J. Devries and Dalton Police Sergeant M. Harris. Okay. Let's see. So the complaint is the plaintiff Stephanie Weidman uh, complains against defendants Tiffany Henyard, Village of Dalton, and Dalton Police Officers Hobson, Devries, and Harris. Plaintiff Stephanie Weidman was a resident of Thornton, Illinois. Defendant Village of Dalton is a municipal corporation duly incorporated under Illinois law and is the employer and principal of defendant officers. Dalton is being sued on a Monell theory of liability as well as on an indemnification theory of liability for defendant officers and defendant Henyard. 
Defendant Tiffany Henyard is the mayor of Dalton and the supervisor of Thornton Township. Defendants Hobson, Devries, and Harris are employed as law enforcement officers by Dalton and, as at the time of these occurrences, were acting within the course and scope of their employment and under color of law. The facts. Stephanie Weidman has been a resident of Cook County since 1980. Plaintiffs started working for Thornton Township in 2002 and worked in various positions with the townships until March 2022. The village of Dalton is in Thornton Township. Dalton holds bi-monthly meetings for the Dalton Board of Trustees, which runs the village in coordination with the Dalton mayor. These meetings are open to the public and members of the public are allowed to attend and to comment during specified public comment sections. As a politically engaged resident of Thornton Township, plaintiff frequently attends these meetings and shares her thoughts on matters of public concern during the public comment section. Tiffany Henyard elected mayor of Dalton and becomes center of controversy. That's the like title of the section. In February 2021, Tiffany Henyard was elected mayor of the village of Dalton. In Henyard's first year as mayor, she took a number of actions which generated substantial controversy, such as forming her own personal security detail of three full-time Dalton police officers paid for by the village of Dalton, decreasing the number of officers available for routine law enforcement, using public funds to pay for billboards prominently featuring Henyard's name and image, altering the advertising for local Dalton public events and programs to prominently feature Henyard's name and image, and using public funds to pay for personal travel, including a lavish trip to Las Vegas for Henyard. On December 8, 2021, the Dalton Board of Trustees voted to call a recall election against Henyard to be held on June 28, 2022. In the June 28, 2022 recall election, Dalton voters voted to remove Mayor Henyard from office. Mayor Henyard remained in office, however, as the election result was invalidated by Illinois courts on procedural grounds. Plaintiff was and is an outspoken critic of Mayor Henyard, both online on Plaintiff's personal Facebook account and in person at Dalton board meetings. Plaintiff has expressed her belief that Mayor Henyard is misusing her office to enrich herself and her political allies. Um, oh, <laughs> her political uh, allies, and has misappropriated public funds for her own private gain. Plaintiff's posts, while at times highly critical of the mayor, contain nothing that could be reasonably construed as threats or intimidation. Despite this, Mayor Henyard has repeatedly portrayed plaintiff's criticism as a threat to her safety and the safety of her family. Mayor Henyard accused plaintiff of trying to intimidate her when... A uh, plaintiff attended a Dalton Board of Trustees meeting and looked at the defendant mayor. Defendant mayor accused plaintiff of harassment for posting critical comments in a local Facebook group. Defendant mayor accused plaintiff of stalking her based on plaintiff's attendance at public board meetings and events ho hosted by Mayor Henyard. Uh, mayor Henyard has treated plaintiff's speech critical of defendant mayor and plaintiff's attendance at open government events as if they were a campaign dedicated to harass, stalk, and threaten uh, the defendant's life and that of her family. Mayor Henyard has weaponized her authority over the Dalton Police Department to harass, intimidate, and arrest plaintiff for her protected speech and participation in her local government. Defendant uh, Henyard's abuse of power has gone on for over a year and caused significant anguish to plaintiff and hampered her ability to engage in First Amendment protected political speech. The first incident in, defendants, in the defendant's violation of plaintiff's constitutional rights took place at a tea with the trustees meeting on June 11, 2022. Like other Dalton meetings, the meeting was open to the public and featured a public comment section. Plaintiff was present along with a number of other Dalton residents who wished to speak out on village concerns, including the recall process, which was an issue of significant public concern. Before the meeting began, plaintiff and several other attendees walked outside. While outside, plaintiff saw Dalton employee Kim Austin placing pro Henyard campaign flyers on the windshield of plaintiff's car and other vehicles in the parking lot. Plaintiff removed the uh, campaign flyers from her windshield and the windshields of cars belonging, belonging to other attendees who asked her to do so. Plaintiff saw a pile of campaign flyers that were ripped up and cars had apparently driven over them in the parking lot and she gathered them up to dispose of them inside. Austin saw plaintiff taking the flyer off plaintiff's car and told the mayor. Uh, the mayor ordered that plaintiff be arrested for taking a flyer off her own car and had Austin call the Dalton police to come arrest her mid-meeting. 
Uh, the Dalton police officer Hobson, Detective Devries, and Sergeant Harris arrived at the meeting and began to search for the plaintiff. They entered the meeting and forcibly escorted her out of the building and arrested her. This arrest was false and in violation of plaintiff's co constitutional rights. Defendant officers knew the arrest was false, but arrested plaintiff nonetheless. Defendant's officers transported plaintiff to the Dalton Village Police Precinct, where she was processed, cited, and released on a $150 bond. The bond impeded plaintiff's ability to travel outside the Northern District of Illinois. Plaintiff was charged with one count of misdemeanor theft under $500. Plaintiff was forced to retain an attorney who represented her during the pendency of the criminal case. Plaintiff was forced to attend court for months while, she was, while the case was pending. Plaintiff was limited in her freedom of movement and, a result, and as a result of the fact that she was limited by the strictures of the bond. On March 4, 2023, the charges against plaintiff were dropped in a manner consistent with her innocence. After her June 11, 2022 arrest, plaintiff remained actively involved in Dalton politics. Plaintiff frequently attended town meetings and other public events. Plaintiff actively participated in discussions about Dalton and Mayor Henyard online, where she often expressed criticism of the mayor. Henyard reported these criticisms to the Dalton Police Department and claimed that they made her fear for her safety and the safety of her family. On September 8, 2022, plaintiff went to a Village of Dalton board meeting. Although the meeting was open to the public, the mayor ordered Dalton police officers in attendance to remove plaintiff from the building. Dalton police officer Miles escorted plaintiff out of the building and told her that she wouldn't be able to attend the meeting due to a police report made against her for harassment. On September 8, 2022, the mayor called the Dalton Police Department to provide additional information on the decision to remove plaintiff from the meeting. Uh, the mayor stated that plaintiff had attended a previous board meeting and stared at her, uh, which the mayor interpreted as an attempt at intimidation and harassment. Officer Miles informed Henyard that he did not consider this behavior to be intimidation. The mayor continued to use the Dalton police to shut plaintiff out of village meetings and silence her criticism. Plaintiff attended the next Dalton board meeting on September 19, 2022. While there, she, she was confronted by Dalton police officer Mathis, who told her she had to remain quiet during the meeting. Internal police reports claim that this was because plaintiff was, quote, stalking the mayor by attending board meetings and other public events. Plaintiff was denied the ability to, to comment during the public comment portion of the meeting and felt threatened into silence by Mayor Henyard. On September 28, 2022, the mayor hosted a public event titled Conversation with the Township Supervisor at Thorn Ridge High School. Plaintiff attended this event and sat quietly in the eighth row where she engaged in no disruptive behavior. Despite this, the mayor directed Dalton police to generate a police report based on plaintiff's presence at this public event. On August 12, 2023, plaintiff attended a local music festival called the House Head Event. The mayor was also in attendance and told Dalton officers on her security detail that plaintiff's presence made her feel uncomfortable and threatened. The next day, plaintiff posted mild criticisms of the mayor in the Facebook group Dalton Politics about attending the event. Let me see. Sorry. Mayor Henyard read these posts and told Dalton police that they made her fear for her safety and that of her family. Based on uh, the mayor's past weaponization of Dalton police against her, plaintiff sincerely fears that this or other incidents will be used to expose her to baseless criminal liability or to otherwise prevent her from participating in her local government and exercising her First Amendment rights. These incidents have caused plaintiff to experience loss and substantial mental anguish. Defendant's conduct was intended to extinguish and silence the First Amendment protected speech of plaintiff and shut down any criticism of the mayor. Defendant's conduct was intended to punish plaintiff for her First Amendment protected free speech and expressed viewpoint. The arrest of plaintiff was substantially motivated by the content of her speech and actions. Plaintiff was engaged in lawful First Amendment activity online and in Dalton. Plaintiff's attendance and speech at Dalton public events was protected, speech as well as an exercise of plaintiff's right to petition her local government. Defendants targeted and arrested plaintiff because she had criticized the mayor and advocated in favor of the recall election against the mayor. Plaintiff violated no laws while engaging in constitutionally protected behavior, yet the mayor ordered her to be falsely arrested, seized, and charged. Defendant's conduct has limited and extinguished plaintiff's ability to continue to exercise her free speech rights. 
Defendants have continued to harass and silence plaintiff by excluding her from Dalton board meetings, having officers threaten her into silence and filing police reports accusing plaintiff of stalking for simply attending public events. Defendants' actions were objectively unreasonable and undertaken with willfulness, willfulness and or reckless indifference to plaintiff's rights. Defendants' actions were directly responsible for the plaint- for the violation of plaintiff's First Amendment rights and the deprivations and anguish she suffered. Wherefore, plaintiff demands actual and compensatory damage plus the cost of this action and attorney fees from defendants. In addition, plaintiff demands punitive damages against defendants since they acted willfully, wantonly, and or in reckless disregard of plaintiff's rights and for whatever additional relief this honorable court deems equitable and just. Um, Count two was the Fourth Amendment false arrest. And that is, I did look it up. I'm just going to tell y'all real fast. The Fourth Amendment is... It protects people from unreasonable searches and seizures by the government. Okay. And then count three was Fourth Fourth Amendment malicious prosecution. Count four, Monell claim. Um, Count five, the state malicious prosecution. Count six, indemnification. So... Yeah, that's one of the ones taking her to court. (laughs) We got a church to go over on another uh, video. We'll go over the church, but yes, that's one of them. Okay, so now we're going to go away from the courtroom. Get back in the newsroom. Yes, okay. So now let's go to, I almost could have stayed in the courtroom for this, but let's go to Chris Jr.'s mugshot next. Um, we knew it was coming because we have unfortunately learned the pattern of the people in Huntsville that you get put on crime, crime stoppers first and then you're arrested at some point. Uh, so let me take this down. I'm with the people that say this is just plain embarrassing. Um, it's, and I'm also with here for hot tea on the coddling of Chris Jr. I do think that is a part of why he continues to do the things he does because it's it's a form it's a he's going to literally get bailed out because that's exactly what happened here too. He oops, he was bailed out. Did that get bigger? No, hold on. There we go. Okay. So um this says Christopher Levon Fletcher booked on April 3rd, 2024 at 7 20 PM, which was last night. Um, shout out to, so I first saw Empress radio and then she credited anonymous T. So I saw that. And then, um, T talk was talking about it this morning as well. Um, but yeah, so Chris jr. And y'all, y'all saw it was about like a, some tires or something like a credit card to get some tires. That's just weird. Uh, but theft of property in the third degree from $501 to for $1,499. Um, bond was $5,000. He was bailed out. So I think that this is not going to help him to bail him out. Um, that's just my opinion. Cause they just, that was just unnecessary. Like I don't even, that's been his life though. Cause I think that last time that I remember when True T said she had seen Chris Fletch, what me, well, let me say, I think it was True T. It may have been another content creator that saw Chris Fletcher's name in a court date um, last year. And now, because I was like, well, it's not that Chris Fletcher, because I remember looking him up, but she didn't say it was. I'm not saying that the person said it was. They just saw the name Chris Fletcher. And so now I'm like, oh, it was probably his son, because remember when the other time he went away and they took the dog? And I don't know if he ever got that dog back, but yeah, I think it's his name. If we see court dates in Huntsville with Chris Fletcher, it's probably the junior. Um, Miss Queen, I don't know for sure from your text if when he came up a couple of days ago or a week ago, that was because he was being looked for on Crime Stoppers. And then he then actually got arrested for what he was being looked for on Crime Stoppers. That's that's the best I can do on that one. If there's anything outside of that, I'm not aware myself. Yeah, it's a mess. It's a mess. Yeah, just let him. I'm sorry, but yeah, but that's the thing. And, and here for hot tea brings up a good point about the sons being coddled. This is this is it right here. Sons being coddled. Okay. Um, 
let's keep going. Let's go to shout out to what's happening because I'm playing the audio from her video. Um, Danny. Oh, yeah. Look at Danny. That's my. OK, Danny, I'm about to do uh, Dr. Shanita. Defends the millimeters. <laughs> Danny's the PR queen. She be she helps me a lot. <laughs> so we're about to go to Dr. Shanita. And this audio is coming from What's Happening's channel. Um, shout out to What's Happening. She always literally does have her, to me, finger on the pulse. And she knows what's happening. <laughs> so shout out to her. Okay, I'm going to change my audio so y'all can hear it a little bit more clearly. And I just got it started at the point where someone says the millimeters are toxic or something like that. And then Dr. Shanita uh, spoke. <laughs> so we're going to start from there. Let's see here. Ops, I know, right? Uh, how many of y'all woke up this morning and no, the name Melometer is not becoming toxic, and we're not gonna do that. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Whoever just said that pink said that pinky brown is not toxic, it's not. The name, the name Melometer stands on 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 business. The name Melometer stands for unity. The name Melometer stands on truth. The name Melometer stands on love. The name Melometer stands on collaboration. The name Melometer stands on endurance. The, the name Melometer stands on, as overcomer. The name Melometer stands on God. The name Melometer, baby, you want me to keep going? Because I can keep going. It don't, it's not toxic. It don't come with negativity. That's what they want it to be. That, that's not what the name Melometer stands for. This organization, this group of women that have collectively come together to build something so great. You know how many content creators have now started and they're making money on YouTube and on different platforms because of them sharing information and their thoughts and their feelings? Do you know how many people are able to get in a group and share their products and their ideals and their services? Do you know how many people that I met at the event that didn't know each other, but they linked up here to go when, when they got to Atlanta to go to brunch, to go to breakfast? Do you know how many people didn't have friends that now have friends because of the collaboration, because of the one word? I just got chills that you're trying to say it's trying to be become toxic. Do you know how many people that that word has stood in the gap when they felt like they were by themselves and they could not go on no more and they needed somebody to stick in, stick up for them or stick to them in their life? Do you know that that one word has brought more people together than any other entire franchise that I've ever seen in my entire life? And I know a lot of them and a lot of people. Toxic. Not good. No. That 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 name stand on power. That that name stand on destiny. That name stand on God. That name stand on growth. That name stand on beauty. That name stand on endurance. That name stand on overcome. No. Toxic is not the word we're going to use. No, nah, we're not going to use that. We're not going to use that. It's too many people winning. It's too many people that benefited. It's too many people that are growing. It's it's too many people that that are benefiting. It's too many people that are in love. There's too many people who who feel like that they they have been over, able to overcome. Let me tell you, and I'm about to go because this has really turned into something that it should have not. But I'm gonna take it there. Do you know how many souls have been saved single-handedly because my friend decided to live her truth out for the whole entire world to watch? Do you know how much courage and how much strength and how much growth has been poured into Black women or women of any color? What? No, nah, baby. We're not gonna do that. I'm not gonna let y'all do that. I'm not. I. I. I'm not gonna let it happen. I, I'm not. And the powers that be, if I gotta go back to being the old me, so be it. So be it. What is it with the person who called? What does it say? No, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I don't know what y'all talking about. I can't see. It's moving too fast. 
I'm not going to do that. Y'all been talking this whole time. Thank you, sound checking it. <laughs> that was, oh my gosh. I was talking this whole time. I was trying to summarize it real fast. I was saying that I didn't even take it wrong the first way that, I, the first time that I heard it before she came back to clear it up. Unfortunately, there will always be some disruptors. Um, and I just took it as the specific person she was talking to that they came in on some calling themselves a millimeter. And then they used that is it still no sound? Y'all, sound check, sound check. Is it sound now? Okay, boy, I was like, did I second time still didn't get it right? Okay, so I just think they used that. Um, and they, 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 fumbled, they fumbled a great connection that they could have had by overstepping boundaries, not giving someone grace and time for real life to happen in between things. Um, that's just an unreasonable, that's an unreasonable person to me. And I took it as she was, only thing connection to the millimeters is that she was saying was that that person, I'm sure, you know, was claiming to be one under the umbrella, but I don't think... The way that she was going up for millimeters a few times, she said every time she told she even was saying, Melly, I tell you, every time your millimeters come up, they they show up and show out. Like with her Africa donation for the clean water and the water well. Like I've already seen her see what the millimeters do when you're attached to Melody. So I just didn't take it that way because I knew that she saw the real support when it comes down to it. And she was just really 38 hot at the person that overstepped their boundaries. That's how I took it. That's how I took it. I didn't take it as anything else because, wow, you sat up here and got her personal number and you could have gotten like, you know, whatever gems of wisdom she was willing to give. And you can't give this woman time to just life might happen. <laughs> and like she said, the person didn't even try to call and they had her personal number. Like, that's crazy. Um, real fast. So first of all, hey, Tyra Daniels, welcome to the Trendy Tribe and my sis 41 Fit gifted five memberships. Let me see who they went to. Gwendolyn Irving, Juana Burge, Shirley Pope, Val B, and Just Mia. Welcome to the Trendy Tribe. Glad to have y'all. I hope you enjoy it while you have the access. Um, let me see here. Where am I at? Where am I at? Bring it in, bring it in. Oh, bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> Started from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So welcome, welcome. I'll also go ahead and pop that trunk because the legal documents are officially sponsored by the trendies now. Okay. I mean, it's it is officially sponsored by the trendies. If you see a legal document from about two days ago and here on out, the trendy sponsored those. Okay. They got me. I thank you. Um, my cash app is scrolling across, it's just trending at some point. Um, so I definitely appreciate y'all. Because it helps me, you know, not go out of pocket for the documents and still do something that I really love. Um, let me see. So let's pop. Oh, let me say thank you for the cash apps. Hold on. My sweet sis, 41 Fit. Thank you. Uh, hold on. CC. I see you, CC. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Let's pop that truck. Because we going. All right. We going. What a money resign. What a money resign. What a money resign. What a money resign. That's that clap. I, we, we all love the clap. 
Uh, Jasmine said, yes, that's what I said. Like, who would look a gift horse in the mouth like that? I don't know. I'm like, I guess you just come across great access a dime a dozen for the person that did that. Because I'm like, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you, right? They just had to put Melody's name in it. Like, why you put her name in it? Yep. And that's an individual. I took it as that individual was getting their hand slapped, their wrist slapped, not us. <laughs> Thank you, Queen Common Sense. Love you too. <laughs> In the bushes. Um, let's see here. Okay, we going. <laughs> okay, wait. Can can but y'all can hear me, right? Can y'all type in a thing that maybe Bama Girl got to refresh her screen or something? Because I think y'all do hear me. I feel like you do because y'all y'all were talking about what I was talking about in the chat. Hey, sweet sis, deep in the bushes. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Okay, thank you, thank you. My, uh, Mods, was one of y'all just asked Bama Girl to refresh her screen, please? <laughs> you know I was already talking on mute, so I know it can be me. Um, Yes, Barbara. It could have been as simple as Chris Jr. asking for a tire. I think he just had... It's weird. You have, to, you have a lot of pride to not ask for it, but you don't have enough pride to not find yourself in jail. Because I'd still have to have not as much pride to just be like, yep, I do need money again. I'm sorry. Because the fact that my parents even have it, I'm tucking my tail between my legs and like, hey, I need tires. <laughs> I need tires. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, there you go on that one. Now we're going to go. We're staying on Dr. Shanita because uh, Melody support, showed support for her friend. Let's see. Which one do I want to go to? I'll go to this one. I was pulling up her stories real fast. Because you know how Melody supports her friends. So let's see here. There it goes. Okay. So uh, Melody posted in her story 17 hours ago. So this was fresh when all this craziness was happening. Um, she posted Dr. Shanita Foster's post. And it says nine products for $100. Melometer special. Back for 72 hours. Hashtag Melometer special. Um, it's at health and wellness with Dr. Um, so yeah. And Melody put that in her stories. Cause that is Melody's real friend. Like she, she, she knows her friends and yeah, we don't, well, it's not us. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lecture us cause it wasn't us. So I ain't gonna say nothing about the don'ts cause that wasn't us. <laughs> it was not us. Um, let's see. Hey Rose, I can put you on my TV screen now. Thank you. Let me see here. Reality 419 said, yes, with regard to Dr. Shanita, she isn't one to play with. So that individual should have known better than to pretend she or him supported Melody. A millimeter uh, is too wise and too intelligent. Yes. Yep. I agree. We wouldn't, we, we know boundaries. <laughs> we know boundaries. The, the, the tenant is critical thinking, first of all. So I'm just not going to go to, oh, you're the, you're the worst because I didn't get my response at this one scheduled time. Like life happens. It's called follow up. Do you have another time? In fact, for me, I'm going to more, and, and I'm not saying that you deserve to be, uh, like the appointment time not met, but I do have an expectation of people that I actually see how busy their lives are that I might have to be flexible on my end because they're going to have more things going on than me. So things are going to happen. They're going to get, uh, unexpected things that come up that is very much like urgent and things like that. And then on top of that, just life, cause she was just being a mom, you know? So yeah. So you're good over here, Dr. Shanita. Um, uh, Kim said, or better yet, go get a real job. You won't have to ask for anything. Yeah, I know. And that goes, yeah, Kim, he, then we're talking about Chris Jr. on that one. Yep. Could have gotten a real job. He, he does like, and honestly, I feel like if he actually wanted to, which I can tell right now he doesn't, he may change as he gets older. He could easily just start selling homes with his father. Like it's, it does. Oh, it irritates me when someone has like access and they squander it away. It irritates me. I'm not going to lie. Cause you can learn so much and just go have to take your test. And if you don't want to take the test, then your dad will probably still cut you in on more of the commission without you passing certain tests and stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so many ways you could do it. And it's, it's you just squandering it for why, for why. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, okay. So, shout out to Melody for supporting her friend. No no misunderstandings from us that are, uh, you know, 
we first of all don't be jumping off on too much as it first happens. We be trying to wait for some things to come out anyway. So that wasn't us. It was not us. <laughs> yep, Mary. Mary said I didn't fall for it when it was announced. I knew what she meant, and she addressed it, and she did. It was very clear. It was about that one person because she said she woke up to that text. <laughs> it was about that one person, and. The way she's gone up for millimeters, I'm just like, that's not going to knock you off to just think, one, that that person was actually a millimeter, or two, that, you know, we all got grouped together because of one person. Even if a person claims it and and they have a whatever it is, I'm still not that person. So I just feel like we weren't grouped together, not by her. Um, that's, what I, that's where I'm going to be with it. Okay. Couldn't face teacher said, right, talking about Chris Jr. They have multiple bu- businesses. He can be working. about i don't know barbara i don't know about that one because most people that don't like melody are just they're in this jealousy thing but not to me in the way of like trying to harm people around her uh the only one to me that is like that for me that is is uh trash tail a little bit but it just depends on on what's happening but i'm i don't i don't know about i don't know i don't know maybe my brain's just not over there right now um, let's see here. Okay. So then we're going to move on to Mama Van's post. So now our current topic is about to be the universal fast that Mama Van posted. Um, and I'm going to say this because last time the number did change. So just stay on top of the, the updates to get the correct numbers. Melody, she even posted in her stories when the number changed. So if it changes from now to Monday, just, I just go, go to Instagram shoot the content creators are going to be posting the changes too and you know stay up to date and just in case the because sometimes that maybe the access code change not the number itself but just to stay up to date when it gets closer she'll have it in her stories and post any changes and stuff like that also if it's set up the same way can you please double mute come in if you know about the star six or star seven, mute your way, mute, mute yourself that way. Then your cell phone has the microphone. Put a line through that microphone and mute yourself. Do not, and don't get me in trouble. Y'all, y'all got, I'm not, not, not being for real. I'm being very funny, but y'all almost got me in trouble last time because somebody had my live playing while, they, and they were not on mute. So I was disrupting on accident. I'm not claiming it, but I'm just saying, <laughs> but come in on double mute double mute. Do not be that person. And it's so funny. The people that don't think they're that person was talking about other people. And we heard them talking about the people not on mute because they weren't on mute too. So I would just suggest since it's not for you to talk anyway, go to a quiet room, (laughs) mute yourself up, act like you might not be on mute and don't be saying nothing. Just be there to absorb and listen. (laughs) Like y'all, I don't know what it is about mute having a hold on people on not actually being muted up. But it can happen to the best of us. But it's real funny when somebody's out there criticizing somebody for not being on mute in real time. And then then they themselves are not on mute. That is hilarious to me. I just want to say that before we get to the next part of this fast. But that mute button, I'm telling you. Oh, 41 Fist said, jumped out the bushes to say, what is wrong with Dr. Shanita establishing boundaries? This question is not for those in this chat. I got you, sis. Yeah, exactly. And there's nothing wrong with it. That's just a disruptive person. Mary said, I'll make sure this time I will be a part of the fast. Okay. So speaking of the fast, look, yep, y'all laughing. Yes, they was criticizing people all the while, not on mute and the loudest. It was hilarious. I, it was We were there for a serious moment, but it hadn't started yet, and I was cracking up. I was still trying to crack up without actually laughing in case my butt wasn't on mute like I was supposed to be. <laughs> don't announce yourself. Right. Don't Look, this is not the time to come in and say hi. Let the person running the room talk. Ain't Look, you better take your, you better invisibly just, just uh, mouth the word hi in case you just have to say hi. It is not for you to come in announcing yourself. They even said before the last one, do not come in announcing yourself. Okay. Okay, the corporate baddies know. <laughs> Lady Sweet said, "How funny! I missed it, girl. I'm telling you. Oh, somebody was coughing. They had to keep telling people to mute. Somebody figured out the master mute. Thank goodness, because it was loud even while when Melody came on. Until somebody, maybe it was her, did the master mute button. But you can pre mute yourself, and please do. It's not to don't come in saying nothing now. Just mute up, mute up. As soon as that phone connects, hit that mute button. Okay." Um, let's see here. All right. So 
I do. I did pick my purpose for fasting. Um, I took. I'm taking Queen Sheba's advice, and I know other people live this way as well. I'm not gonna say my purpose for fasting until it comes to fruition, but I just, I just wanted to share that I have picked my purpose for this particular fast. Um, also, my last time I did not fast food. I fasted an activity um, because you uh, now. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with fasting from food. I just uh, I picked something that would really for me. Uh, my last time I fasted from any social media, like any blog content, anything. I don't even know if I was on YouTube to watch my faves. I, I stepped away from all of that. And I think it kept me with a clear, a clear brain and everything. But um, I did fast. And I do feel like, <laughs> uh, obviously, along with the hard work, but there's some things that's out of your control. I had, um, I got a middle of the night call one night. Well, it was middle of the night for me in my season, lady inside of me. It was middle of the night for me. It probably wasn't that late, really, but it was late for me. I was kind of already knocked out a little bit. And I got a late night call. Um, and the opportunity presented to me, there's no control that I could have had for the opportunity to come my way. That was, it was just already in the works outside of myself. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I do I do feel like we all pick our own ways to fast and what to fast. And I'm all for the fasting from food too. Like I, I support that. I just I just uh chose something different that time, but I'm definitely one that has fasted from food as well. Cherie said I'm looking forward to this. Monique said I must have come in after that. All I heard was beeping when everyone entered. <laughs> Monique, it was it was hilarious. It was it was hilarious. It hadn't started yet. I wouldn't have thought it was funny if we was already deep into the prayers and stuff. <laughs> it was like how you criticizing these people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, Tim said, loving the fact that we are supporting one another in the realm of positivity. Yes, we are. Uh, I think Barbara, you need to research fasting because Melody always says, "Be wise." And don't go doing stuff that might not be good for your health because we don't know all of your health concerns. So I think you need to um, pick your type of fast. Research the types of fast, spiritual fasting, and pick the one that is going to best suit you. Because And people usually still drink water when they're fasting. Only, only a few that are very experienced and choose to do that do a dry fast. I definitely, um, I don't, I don't advocate dry fasting to anybody else and no i also have not tried dry fasting but i just you, you use wisdom use wisdom that's what i'm gonna say on that fasting <laughs> um reality said listen i've never came up on anyone live i simply stay in the bushes okay well come on then. thank you um yeah further proof she cannot control the millimeters right um uh, let's see yep Okay, Lady Sweetness said, I'm doing it this time. Let's see here. Okay, Reality said, pick a purpose for the fasting. Do you mean to not partake with something specific you do you do not do or consume? Just checking for those that may not know. Okay, so my purpose, so the fasting was, the act of fasting for me last time was fasting from gossip, social media, and all that. My purpose for fasting, I said I was not going to share that, like what the outcome I was seeking from the fasting. That's the part I didn't want to share yet. But the the actual thing I chose to fast from, I did. That was that was what I um, chose was social media. But I didn't identify my purposes because I'm trying to keep them close to myself. Um, but man, things are happening. <laughs> things are happening. Um, what else was I going to say? Okay, I think that was I think that was it. Thank you for uh gaining clarity for others reality. Hey my squad, new members enjoy the awesome membership benefits. Yes, please do, please do. One of them is my weight loss journey. Um other one is all past art that I create on Sketchy Saturdays. You always have access to that. Mama V said I fast for a job in January and the next week I got a call for a job I didn't apply for. Okay. I see. Okay, so everything um, right now, all we have is this flyer. So, uh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. There is a time on here too. So it says 12 PM central standard time, Monday, 12 PM central standard time. Please, please keep an eye on mama vans, Instagram, the melometer fan pages, the, the literal melometers fan page. Then you got melody Sharif fan page. You have money making melody fan page. You have we got as told by Danny. <laughs> so yeah, so keep an eye on the fan pages, Melody's stories. Um, 
all of that. So yes, there will be plenty of places to stay up to date. And then the content creators, a lot of times they'll come on to YouTube and stuff and just try to also keep you up to date. But for the most quick time, it'd probably be just being on their uh, Instagram for sure. Even their Facebook. I'm just not on Facebook, but maybe they're also posting on Facebook. Um, okay. Brenda said, hello, trending mods and chat. I've been watching from my TV and I'm ready for this fast. Yes. And traditional fasting um, is just fasting from food and you still drink water. Only reason I'm bringing up dry fasting is because I know it's a thing. That's the only reason. But I'm not, I don't recommend anyone do that. That's not an experience and has done that before. I really, really don't. Because that one, to me, has more risks. And it's just something that's out of my realm of knowing. Um, Uppity's done dry fasting before. So maybe she can explain it, but also still, you know, check with your doctors and everything. <laughs> use wisdom. I'm just going to keep saying use wisdom. <laughs> Tyra said, thank you, Reality419, because you guys, I never fast before, and I'm not ashamed to say it. Don't judge me. No, not judging at all, Tyra. Not judging at all. And I think also, see, last time before her last fast, I feel like Melody also put in her stories some explanations and stuff as well. But if you do look up fasting for spiritual reasons, I think that will also give you a well-rounded view of some of the things and reasons on why you're fasting. Um and then also things maybe you can choose to fast from. Just like I know, is it good? Is it Ash Wednesday to Good Friday or something that people choose to also fast? Things like that. It's something like that. But yeah, um, and some people choose different things to fast from. That's what I've always seen. So I just knew that like you can you can choose a new a different way. Just make sure it's something that you actually are cutting yourself off from for a spiritual reason. You know what I mean? Um, let's see here. Uh, Rose, Rose said, you're not alone, Tyra. Thank you, Lady Sweden. She said, Trina, love your personality, a real jewel. Thank you so much. Miss Queen says, shout out to Danny for sharing my review of 7th Avenue. I'm telling you, that's the PR queen. Yes, Danny is the PR queen. Shout out to Danny. Um, Danny, you definitely have helped me too. So, cause I didn't have time to post for this live. So I appreciate that. Um, reality said, I will keep copying keep watch for content creators. I do not currently have Facebook or IG. So thanks a lot. Okay. I definitely believe that, that we're going to keep y'all up to date too. So that's going to be just fine. Um, last time, let's see, it was on a Monday. Last time I was able to do a live before the fast started. So hopefully I can, I normally even, I'm normally live anyway on Monday. I might have to set it to go live at, oh no, I'll still be good because if it's 12 PM central standard time, that's 1 PM for me. So I can do my normal lunch break live and just give you a reminder that day. And even if I don't say it, my chat will come in here and remind me that it's, a, it's that day. <laughs> um, let's see. The the uh, It starts Monday, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Let's see. Flower Bloom said, yes, check with your doctor first if you have health issues. My dad is not able to do it. Tyra said, Rose, we got to do it. Yep. I agree, Brenda. I agree. You have to pick what feels spiritually sound for you. That's the best way I I think, because it's you, you're your own person. So I think more of it is about the intention, the purpose, the coming together, that the energy gathering of it all. That's what I, I think. Um, but yeah, definitely food has always been primary though. You know, like that's one of the go-tos and and obviously for, you know, the scripture that they're quoting and things like that, like if it's if it's from um, if you are a Christian, because other other religions fast as well. So I acknowledge for me, I acknowledge most religions because I feel like we still are aiming to be good people. And that's like the ultimate purpose. Um, but I know in the Bible, a lot of if it's fasting it's usually food. Um, but yes, just, just have the good intentions in your heart. That's, that's to me is the most, most, most important thing. And if it's not for you, that's okay too. Like don't, um, oh, yeah, it's called Lent. Thank you, D. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but yes, just have the intentions. And if it's not for you, it's just not for you. Like Melody says, everything ain't for everybody. I don't have to use that phrase a hundred times since she came in. Shout out to Melody. She had came into my chat one time and somebody had asked for something and she didn't, that's not something that she did, like one of her products or something. And she was like, it's okay. Everything ain't for everybody. And I'm like, if that ain't just the catch all, everything ain't for everybody. It just isn't. So it's okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Let me keep going. I got, ooh, a little less than three minutes, just so y'all know. 
Right. Miss Tina says it's a personal preference. You can make your own choice of what you're fastening from. No phones, TV, suites, etc. Rose said, will it be? Okay, for me, Rose, it definitely will at least be on Instagram. And if I can, I'll try to also put it on YouTube as well. This is the thing, though. Instagram is a little safer. And then when I go live that day, it's a little bit safer because things sometimes change. So I, I don't know. But I know, you know, I'm gonna keep talking about it, though. It, it'll be it'll be there. I just don't know for sure. Except out of, outside of Instagram. I know Instagram. I'll put it on there. Chronicles of Kim K said, remember your why. The purpose of fasting is developing spiritual strength, including resisting temptation, developing self-mastery, making our spirits masters of our bodies, showing humility. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. Wait, what what you talking about? Danny said, yep, more product for us. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's not okay. So yeah, I guess I'll this is perfect. I'll go ahead and end here. I'm gonna pop the trunk in case somebody sends a cash out later. And I appreciate y'all because for real, for real, the legal documents officially are sponsored by the trendies. And I appreciate it because I do I I'm now backed up in the way that I can access things. I just am backed up on time to keep getting y'all more stuff more court cases and stuff to talk about. So I definitely appreciate that. I do. Um, thank you, sweet Rose. Yep. I be, I see you on there. Okay. Reality, you're my last comment. Then I'll play the song so I can get my butt out of here and get back to work. She said, I'm excited and I appreciate to do this universal fasting lead, led by both Melody Cherie and Miss Van. See, I love the real ones. Do not say you're a Christian without actions of a Christian. Prayers up. Got you. Yeah, like for the, I, I got you. The ones that'll shove something down your throat, but then they don't have the actions that actually are what we would see in someone that claims to be a Christian. I do get that. And shout out to all my spiritual people that uh, practice different religions. I don't want to. I just want to let y'all know I'm here for y'all. You know, like I got y'all too because that's just how I am. I've always been an, a pretty open person, and and except for maybe my early teens. And then thankfully I got to go to Montana and that kind of opened me up to more things outside of like the city I always was in and stuff like that. So I'm pretty open. So to me, if you can just be a good person, don't harm people. Um, you know, those things to me, that's what it is. It, it, if it still starts from love, we good, we good. Cause then you're not trying to out here do nothing bad to nobody. <laughs> Come on, Miss Queen said, what comes easy won't last and what lasts won't come easy. Okay, y'all, I got to go. That was a good one, Miss Queen. Okay, I'll see y'all tonight. Come back 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my show with, or our show, sorry, our show with um, Journey to Jasmine and Here for Hot Tea. It's called A Journey to Trending Hot Tea. All right. Talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye. All right. We going. What a money resign. What a money resign. What a money resign. What a money resign. Taking my time, I've been taking my time away. Taking all of your time, taking all of your time away.